Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatedme.com. I have an insane unboxing for you. From the title of the video, you already know what these are. These are Timberland boots um, from the collaboration collection with Pharrell's Louis Vuitton men's. If you're new to my unboxing videos, the way that I do it is that I talk about what drew me to the collection or the piece. I talk about my shopping experience and any important information that I feel you should know. I do the unboxing and then I come back with my final thoughts. I cannot believe I got my hands on these. I thought this was going to be like another, you know, version of what happened with the Nike collaboration. There was just no way that I would be able to get my hands on it, but I am so, so happy that I got my hands on a pair. Now, these are not the ones that I originally wanted. I originally wanted the ones that Pharrell was wearing in the preview where they had the logo, the um, Louis Vuitton monogram kind of imprinted all over the boot. I really wanted those, but those could not get and I monitored the website, I called as soon as they came out and they were just gone, they were just gone. So these were available and I called the customer service line to place an order and I managed to get them. Now, the sizing was an issue, Ugh, sizing was a big issue. I went with what my sizing is normally with Timberland boots. Um, that might have been a mistake. I don't know. I was very confused about the sizing. I probably should have thought about it and been more proactive about finding my size, but it is what it is. So ultimately, I got this in a size men's seven, which would translate to a woman's eight and a half. I am pretty much solidly a women's eight and a half. Sometimes in sneakers, uh, I'm an eight. For boots in general, I tend to size up because I find that if I'm wearing thicker socks, I don't they tend to like, my my toes tend to like hit right against the edge of the boot and so it's just a little bit uncomfortable. So I prefer to have a little more space, have it be roomy, than be too tight or uncomfortable. So that is what I did with these boots. I went with, again, a US Men's 7, which would be a woman's eight and a half. And they're a little too big. They're a lot big, actually. Now, other than that, the shopping experience was seamless. I talked to a client services person, represented by calling the main line easy peasy they had one in that size they told me they couldn't find the regular monogram they had this one and I ultimately decided I'll just go ahead and get this one because I did like the design it just wasn't my favorite and ultimately I think I picked the better design for me but anyway let's just get to the unboxing so you can take a look at them and then we can talk a little bit more By the way, if you're new here, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a lifestyle creator. I create content about fashion, beauty, DIY projects, luxury family, travel, and so much more. So if any of those topics interest you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can set your notifications on for all. I make new videos every week, but I don't have a set schedule. So if you have your notifications on, you won't miss a thing. So here they are. They are so, so cool and I love them so much, so, so much. Now, again, I like this design, and ultimately, I think it's a better design for me. Let me tell you why. Now, I do love the monogram canvas here. I think it's very, very cool. I think it's it pops. You know where these boots are from because of that. If you didn't want it to be so in your face, you could just cover the top, and then you wouldn't really know. If you didn't pull the tongue down and you kind of covered up the top, you wouldn't know. If you did want it to be more visible, then you could always, of course, pull this tongue down because it does have that monogram on it, oh, so, so cool. And then of course the canvas monogram 
uh, up here. These ringlets are so cool. They say Louis Vuitton on them. But again, you have to get really close to see them, but I just think they're so cool. I love the details of these boots. Now, the reason why the other boots I feel like would not be such a great investment is because they don't have this canvas. Now, this canvas is durable. Like, this is durable. You can see that it's Louis Vuitton. It has a monogram. But I'm just afraid that with use and with cleaning, um, let me show you. So with the other ones, with the monogram on the leather, I was just afraid that they would just wear off eventually. Now, I did an unboxing of a pair of the Timberland boots in collaboration with Jimmy Choo. And in that video, I mentioned that you should invest in a Timberland boot cleaner. This is from the Timberland brand. It has the eraser here for scuffs and then the brush on the other side for you to clean to get any debris and just, just to clean. This one comes in a little keychain. I had this as a kid because I'm a New Yorker, so of course I had Timberlands. I'm a big fan of Timberlands, if you didn't know. If you didn't guess that by the fact that I have these and I had a pair of uh, Jimmy Choo collaboration boots. So I had this as a kid and it's just kind of fun that I had this in the back of my mind, like, oh, I should get a, you know, a Timberland boot cleaner, a brush, keychain. So anyway, I have this. Now I said I had the Jimmy Choo Timberland collaboration boots. I unboxed them here. I talked about loving them and I did, but they were small. They ran a little small. I got them in a size women's eight. And again, my toes were just hitting the front. And if I wore thicker socks, then it became even more uncomfortable. And I'm just not about being uncomfortable anymore. I want to have comfortable shoes. And after my pregnancies, I just like came to terms with the fact that my feet are just bigger now. I am an eight and a half, more so than an eight. Eight, I buy occasionally on in sneakers that are tend to be oversized, but I'm just a solid eight and a half. So when I buy boots, I get an eight and a half or a nine if I want them to be really roomy and to be able to wear them with thicker socks in the winter it can get really cold up here in new york so i wound up selling those on poshmark but i did repurchase another pair from that collection and actually i'm just realizing now that i never shared this with you but i made this purchase last year last fall and I filmed the unboxing and then I just didn't have time. I got really busy. I never did the unboxing. So I will do a belated unboxing video of these, but let me just show you what I got. So I wound up making a repurchase of a boot from that collection, but it is the black Timberland boots with the beautiful crystal uh, Timberland right here. It's black and white crystals. They are so cool. Um, the rivets here are also crystal. They're so beautiful, so comfortable. I'm so happy that I was able to purchase these. So again, this is in a size women's eight and a half and they fit perfectly. And I could have even gone with a nine again if I wanted to wear thicker winter socks with these, but I don't think I'll be wearing this when it's, you know, like really, really snowy out, but there you go. So again, that is why I made the purchase in this size. Unfortunately, There is a massive difference. Can you see? It's it's a lot bigger. And I mean, it's not even, they're so big. Yeah, you see that? Let me see, let me try to. Yeah, it's, it's a big, it's a big difference. These are like pretty much sold out. I reached out to the essay that I used on the phone to place my order. Um, she says she's keeping a lookout for me to see if they can find it in a six and a half or even a six. Now, I bought these months ago. It's been weeks and weeks. I was in New Orleans when I purchased them and I was afraid that they might be shipped while I was away. So I had them delivered to the flagship store. When I went to pick these up, I met a really nice sales associate and he texted me like a day or two later to see how the boots were, if I was really happy with them and just to check up and I told them they're too big. So he's got an eye out for me as well. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I think that I will just keep them if I can't find them in a smaller size because I love them so much. And I'll just like double and triple up my socks when I wear them, I don't know. It is kind of ridiculous. They are so big. I think what really makes them big is the toe box. 
I guess the men's is much wider than the women's. See, the women's toe box is a lot more narrow than the men's, and I think that's what makes it look almost clownishly big on me. If it weren't as wide, then maybe it wouldn't feel, they wouldn't feel so big. I mean, they just are, they just are. Because this, this is, the soles are super thick, but I would say that they start, yeah, there. And so again, not, not, I mean, yes, maybe a whole size bigger, maybe just half a size bigger, but the fact that they're so wide, that's what makes it feel ginormous on me. But I could deal, I could deal just to have them because they're so special, so unique, and just really, really cool. I love all the details. Again, the monogram canvas here at the top, the rivets, the zipper that has the Louis Vuitton logo on it. It's just so cool. And of course, the tongue. That's just like such a cool, cool little detail. And I just can't wait to wear them. I will wait to wear them because I'm hoping that maybe someone makes a return of a size six and a half or even a size six so that I can exchange them. But yeah, I think, I, I think I'll just keep them and just, I don't know. I just love them, they're so cool. And again, I feel like this is going to age really well because no matter how much I will scuff them up here and get them dirty, I feel like this is gonna last a lot more than those LV imprints on the other style. If you wanted them in black, much easier to get. They kept, my sales associate kept asking me, do you want them in black? Do you want them in black? And I, was, and I said no, because I have those in black. And I like these, I like these a lot. So I didn't want to have two pairs of black. I don't have a pair of, of Timberland boots in this color anymore because I sold those other ones. So this is just, this is just the one that I wanted and I just love them so much. Now, of course, yes, they're expensive but I was expecting Nike prices. So the pricing didn't, I mean, obviously they're expensive and it always hurts a little bit, but um, not as bad as I thought they were gonna be. Let me know your thoughts. Did you grab these? Did these boots interest you at all? Like, did you get it? But like, did you get it? <laughs> Cause I know a lot of people look at these collaboration collections and they're like, I don't understand why this brand is partnering with this one, but it's such an iconic New York thing and a, urban thing and having Pharrell be the creative director for the men's line and having them do so much outreach to those communities of color, those urban communities, the hip hop world, it just to me it made perfect sense and why I was so excited about it because I'm a New Yorker I'm from New York City, I love Timberlands, I've always worn them, I will always wear them so that just like that's why I'm like I had to had to if I could I had to and I could so I did um because yeah it was not as bad as the Nike collaboration which I also really wanted to shop but th those were just that was insane and now the resale market is insane and I've just let that desire go and happy to replace it with this one but anyway l again let me know what you guys think of the boots the collection let me know if I should keep them or if I should just return them if I can't find them in my size. I really don't want to return them. I don't know, but I have a feeling that it might just look a little ridiculous. It might look a little clownish, me walking around, stomping around in these big old boots, but hopefully, hopefully I can exchange them. Don't forget to please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. If you found it interesting, fun, entertaining, informative, any of the above, please give it a like because it really helps me reach more people. Click or tap right here to watch my last video or click down below to watch another video that you might enjoy. Thanks so, so much for watching. Stay tuned.